made some good progress in the last session. But I'm grown concerned about your situation. This time, we're going to try to understand the root of your anxiety. Now pick up that book, turn the pages. You will see a set of pictures and symbols. I want you to identify which image in each set makes you the most anxious. Women wear me, because you never know what you're thinking. Um, plans. Because you have the tendency to crash. Highs. I'm definitely a highs person. Snakes. Nerves. Okay. Snakes again. Let's get across. Creepy. Uh, gore. Scarecrows. Zombies are ace. Gore. Gore. This is very interesting. Thank you for answering so diligently. <laughs> Spiders, scarecrows, and awful. <laughs> Some combination sounds like a good Friday night. <laughs> Uh, well, I'm afraid, once again, we're out of time, but I promise we'll talk again very soon. Josh, that's how we met. Boom. 
butterfly effect. I feel like this mountain gets bigger every time so I climb true. it. Oh, yeah. Jealousy. It feels the same to me. Now we have Josh. Come on, you grew up here. It probably feels like it's shrinking. I guess that's true. When are you going to install some cell towers up here? I'm getting withdrawals already. You got a spare million lying around, and I'll fix you right up. Funny you should say that. I, I think I left it in my other jacket. Oops. Hey, gang. You guys get up here okay? <sighs> Could've done with some bellboys, but, uh, hey. Can't get everything. Yeah, it was pretty easy. A little creepy, though. I mean, it's really weird being back here. Somebody's in the world. Yo, yo, yo. We get things moving up here or what? Yeah, man. Let's worry. Hey, you doing all right? I mean, I know it must be really tough without your sister. Stop. I just meant that. No, I know what you meant. You know, seriously, I'm over it, and I just I want us to have a good time. You know, like we always used to. Damn it! It's a freaking thing. It's iced. What else? Maybe there's another way in. There are a million ways in. They're just all locked. There's gotta be like a window around the corner we can get like get open or something. Wait a second. Are you saying we should break in? I think this game is supposed to be breaking in if you own the place, right? I think hey, I'll go along with the telltale kind of game. Um but lead the way, coaches. The horror is basically jump scare only. Hey Ash. Hi Chris. So, how are you doing? It's good, but a little cold. I think I could use some time curled up by the fire. Yeah, that does sound pretty nice. Ashley was looking pretty hot today, right? She's like a sleeper hit kind of gal, you know? And I just want to rip that parka right off of her and make some snow angels, right? Test. Hey, cut it out, man. Yeah, I mean, if you're not going to bang her, maybe Michael take up the case. Wait, will you back off on Relax. Already? Just checking to see if there's some blood flowing down there. Yeah. Listen, dude, look around you. Look at these beautiful mountains. Do you see any parents? I mean, can you imagine a more perfect, ripe scenario just dripping with erotic possibilities? You and Ashley alone at last. You've laid all the groundwork. You've been a perfect gentleman. Now, you come in for the kill. Maybe you're right. You're a hunter, bro. No fear, no mercy. I mean, she won't even know what hit her. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, I got it. Jeez. So, how are we planning on breaking into my parents' lodge, bud? I didn't say I had a plan. You sounded like you had a plan. You better deliver, Cochise, or else you got four lovely ladies who are going to be freezing their buns off. And last time I checked, that's not a good way to get laid. I think it's supposed to be a psycho killer horror, but... <laughs> Clue found. So be first for a... Damn, I'm getting pretty low on juice here. No. I just gotta turn off my GPS. I'm finally like outside where I might actually use it. Can you cool it on the phone, Tom? Well, 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 we got ourselves a thinker. Nice one. Oh! 
have paid more attention in climbing class. You mean Jim? Yeah, you know, with the climbing up the rope. Whoa. Did I do that? I, I don't think so. Here, use this. Whoa, Chris, I just got an awesome idea. Yeah? Totally. What, what is it? Okay, so I'm pretty sure that I've got some deodorant in one of the bathrooms. You could use that with the lighter. I, I don't follow. How's, it, how's a stick of deodorant going to help? Spray on. It's a can. Oh, yeah. Now We're I got gonna you. going to make a flamethrower. Just like we did with the little army dudes. Yep. Ones we melted. Just point the spray can in the lighter and whoosh. Bye-bye, frozen lock. Bingo. All right, so you got this. I'm gonna go sort something out. You up for hunting around in the dark for a little bit? Nope, but I'll do it. Godspeed, Pilgrim. What's on the floor? And it's another totem. Somebody's gonna be set on fire. Somebody's gonna be set on fire. Make sure I haven't missed anything. Can't see anything more. Another clue found. Huh? What the hell was that? Get the stirs, you stupid idiot. Senior prom. What's the year first? Now, any normal person now would be lighting these candles, but. Obviously, the common sense doesn't come into it. One new message. New message. Hi, Mrs. Washington. This is Sergeant Tate again. It's bad news, I'm afraid. Yeah, we've been through the case files, and there's nothing we can do. He's a free man. We don't have the legal power to restrict his movement.
think the characters are all stereotypical for American teen slasher movies, aren't they? Explore first. Don't want to miss any clues. Oh, did you see this last time? Oh well, time to get the order and move on to the next part. That scared heavenly again. Perfect. We're freezing our buns off out here. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. I'll, I'll be here all week. <laughs> ah, crap, that thing freaked me out. What was it? Are you okay? It was like a bear or a tiger or something. Oh, it was just a cute little baby Wolverine. Baby? Don't worry, buddy. You're gonna be a big boy soon. That wasn't Wolverine. Home sweet home. Sweet is not the word I use. Oh my gosh, it's so good to be inside. Even if it's still kind of freezing in here. I'll get a fire to go. This place barely looks any different. Yeah, nobody's been up here. Even with all the police coming in and out? Not a lot of action up here lately. Nope. What's up, party people? Hi. Hey. Hey. Hey, man. Make yourself at home, bro. We'll do. That is so gross. <laughs> Are you trying to swallow his face whole? Yeah. I mean, seriously, can she be any more obvious? No one wants in on your territory, honey. Excuse me? Did you say something? Oh, did you 
not hear me was your sluttiness too loud? Sounds like someone's better she didn't make fuck, fuck, yeah. fuck, All fuck, a big fuck, cattle fuck. call with that dream boat. Congrats, you're top cow. Cuts real deep calling this homecoming a cow. Hey, hey, you're making everyone uncomfortable, Jess. Jealous much? Emily too frigid for you too. Hey, that's that's uncalled. Look, whatever. I don't give a crap what you think. At least I can think. 4.0, bitch. On a roll. Suck on that when you're trying to sleep your way into a job. Who needs grades when you've got all the natural advantages you can handle? Oh, please. You couldn't buy a moldy loaf of bread with your skanky ass. <laughs> Are you serious? Do you think that's insulting? That bitch is on crack or something. It's provoking. Jessica, you need to shut your mouth, okay? No. You're the one who needs to keep your nose out of other people's business. I'm about to get right up in your business, you bitch. Are we about to get real? Because I am down to get real. Stop it! This is not why we came up here. This is not helping. It's not what I wanted. If we can't get along for ten minutes, and maybe we need a little bit of a break, right? Mike, why don't you check out the guest cabin, the one I told you about? Yeah. Yeah, all right. Want to go do that? Any place without that whore. It's right up the trail. <sighs> Glad that's over. Yeah. So, Josh, uh, should we get this fire going? Where's my bag? Huh? My bag, the the little bag with the pink pattern, the one I got on Rodeo. Matt, are you are you listening? Oh my god, don't you remember next to the Italian shoe place where I got the stilettos and you knocked over the rack while you were drooling all over that girl at the counter? Well, I mean, she was asking about my letter jacket. Right, because she gave a shit about your designer letter jacket. Why do you hate my jacket? Matt, I need my bag. Oh my god, Em, you, maybe you just forgot it. Do you seriously think I'd forget my bag? Well, Do I... you? Guess not. You must have left it down by the cable car station. <sighs> Come on, hon. We'll be back soon. And then we can get warm? We can get very warm. Okay. Okay, let's go. <laughs> there is the most annoying character a lot for me, that Dr. Hill. most romantic love den you will ever lay your eyes upon. <laughs> if we ever make it. I have a feeling luck's on our side. Play your cards right and maybe you will get lucky. Hey, porn stars! You're gonna need these. A porn star? I paid to see it. Uh, gross. Hey, I'm sorry to kick you out like that. No worries, man. Oh, I'm sure you'll find a way to entertain yourselves. Mm-hmm. You have fun with the peanut gallery. Oh, I almost forgot. We've got to fire up the generator so you can see where you're going. It's dark out there. All right. Roger that. I think Josh was flirting with me. Okay. You want to invite him up with us? Wait, really? What? No. that camera handy and maybe I'll let you start my portfolio at the cabin. Wink. Noted. Burr, it is freezing 
working out here. Now, that's something I can help you with. And how are you gonna do that? Uh, I got a few things in mind. Emily's as dumb as she looks if she thinks she can cut in on what we got going on. Maybe if we're lucky, she'll try and follow us out here and get eaten by a bear. I think you bring out the worst in her. Is that so? Epic jealousy. Suck it. This thing needs juice or something. Another totem. Well, it sure is now. Looks like a nice man. All right, let's see. Boom! Nice one, Mikey. Woo! You are a wizard. <laughs> He's there. He run away. Is this all familiar to you, Heavenly? Is that why you're okay so far? the investigation. Okay, I'm getting the creeps now. Be respectful. Well, wherever they are, I'm sure they're happy we're all thinking about them. That's a nice way of thinking about it. It tries to scare people, it's too many jump scares a lot. It's all about the jump scares, it doesn't... How could she die? Hey Jessica! Yep, hey! I'm okay! Holy crap, you scared the heck out of me. I didn't think I felt! You didn't hit your head or anything. As far as I can tell, I still have all seven of my limbs. Uh, yeah. Get out? I... Uh, I don't know. I can hardly see anything down here. Let's make him heroic this time. Alright, coming after you. Just stay put. <laughs> There's somebody behind you. Hey, handsome. Wanna help me move this cart thing? Just go 
hunting together. This is not what I pictured. <laughs> Not yet, GD. <laughs> Everyone, you'll jump at anything. Might be a scary cat, Helen, but at least not as bad as GD. Or Hanksy. You have to get drunk to play a game like this. Oh, Nelly. This place is giving me the willies. And not the good kind of willies. Can I offer you a little comfort and reassurance? We'll save it for the cabin, Buster. Fortune taught them. I think with the totems it makes it feel kind of Final Destination-ish. You get glimpses of what's going on. You alright? Yeah. Close one. I don't think this place is up to code. Yeah, I'm thinking it's time to go. GD, knowing you, you'll probably fail at trying to kill everybody. I'm worried to the mine. Another one there for you, Heavenly. Hey, Jess? Mm hmm. Stay close by, okay? What's that? Uh, this posting says there's some brown bears up here sometimes. Oh, Michael, I have the best idea. What? Let's go hug a bear. Come on, please. Come on. Let's not hug a bear. <laughs> Did that seriously get you heavenly? Ah! <laughs> 
And there's another one for the heaven like you need to shit yourself with. Be witty. Just just answering his mating call. Wow, you're easy. Yeah. Got a lot of love to give. <laughs> I'm scared. Yeah, the characters are annoying. Like I said earlier, they're very stereotypical. <sighs> Damn it, Josh. Can you have at least cleared out the path before sending us up here? <laughs> really? What? I didn't figure you for the glass half-empty type. You got a better idea? Stand back, Debbie Downer. Oh, boo! Show off! Hey, Mike! You've got something on your face! Ah. Boo! Okay, okay. Well, that's how it's gonna be! Yes? Ah. Yes! Is it by just GD? Maybe you can save it later. Hanks thinks highly of me. Five alive. I think I've just passed where I got up to yesterday. Did we go into the basement yesterday, haven't we? mission together. Yeah, I was thinking they could use some alone time. They are very sweet together. I wish they'd just freaking get on with it already. I swear, they just need, like, 
something to bond over, you know, some sort of traumatic event to send them into each other's arms. I mean, at this rate, they'll be in the geriatric ward before Chris makes a move. <laughs> Sam. Yes, Josh. I just wanted to say. Uh, what? It really means a lot to me that everyone came back this year, and you know that you came, Sam. Josh, we're here for you. Really, whatever you need, whenever, we're all gonna make it through this together. Um, I want us to have a good time, you know? Hey, watch your step. I think I can handle a little old set of stairs. Mm -hmm. Sorry to drag you down into the bow. Oh, just get me some hot water and I'll be super fine. I mean, I wouldn't want you coming down here on your own, you know? Well, it's definitely creepy down here. Yep. Not a place to be on your own. Humorous. Be pretty rough playing baseball out in all that snow. No, it wasn't in the winter, silly. I mean, we'd come up in the summer and we would have the best time. The whole family was there. Mom, Dad, my sisters. It was some serious competition out there on the big lawn. I don't know. Can't go back. New reality. Right, Sam? Anyway, I'm supposed to be fixing this whole guy, right? Here, can you can you hold this? What was that? What was what? Just shine it here so I can see what I'm doing. Hey, Oops. can you just keep the light so I can see, okay? Nice one. As steady as a rock. First things first, we gotta increase the water pressure before we get the boiler fired up. Mm, sounds kinda complicated. No, it's actually pretty simple. Seriously, there's something back there. 
Be heroic again. Go check it out. What? Why? <laughs> you care for any face? No, it's, it's probably just like not anything. Uh, why don't you hold down the floor while I make sure? Like whatever you say, madam. supposed to take advantage of the opportunity are you are you serious were you in on this putz <laughs> no but I, I wish i was that was too good i'm ready to admit that your dumb little prank may have a slight whiff of humor joke master well i i said nothing about jokes i said your prank which was dumb. Holy crap, you were scared, admit it. <laughs> I was not! Come on, you totally convinced yourself. Josh! <laughs> what in God's name are you wearing? I found my true calling. Mm -hmm. Please tell me you're gonna take a vow of silence. <laughs> okay, okay, did you at least find the thingy? Oi, 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 oi. Here's our one-way ticket to the spirit realm. You know what? You know what? No, no. I've just been through enough spooking for one night, okay? I see a hot bath in my crystal ball. All right? So have fun. Oh, but watch out for that, Josh. He's a schema. Okay. Hello, Earth to Matt. You gonna come with me to get my bag? Yeah. Is that a butt? You're a butt. Who the hell's been smoking a cigar? Not me. Maybe Ashley's got a weird stogie habit. Okay, then. I found that before. I'm not even going the right way here. I'll take that as a no. Need 
Yeah, Heavenly. It's Mark going back for the bag with Emily. Mark going the right way. I missed a turn off or something. Ooh, somebody's gonna get the fingers chopped off. Someone got shot then. Hey, Doofus, come this way. You, uh, trying to get me somewhere private? Why don't you uh, come find out? Matt. Yeah? Thanks for helping me find my bag. I know I can be a little high maintenance. It's no problem, babe. But you gotta remember, there's more to this guy than just being a lean, mean, luggage-lifting machine. You gonna back that up? All day. <laughs> what? All day. <laughs> Wait, what does that mean? Like, all day long. I was being, like, sexy. Somebody's watching. Nice to be here with you, muscle man. Uh, I'm not all muscle. <laughs> there are some brains. What's wrong with him, GD? Why well, don't you like him? Brains to like me, so let's see that brawn. You ever done it outside before? Outside of what? My car. I like your car. Roomy. This ain't roomy enough for you? Uh, you know what? Maybe there's a better spot. Does this spot start with a G? There are lots of places out here. I already started clearing this off for us. Like a gentleman. Oh, come on, let's look around. Oh, well, look at that. Hey. What the hell, Em? Don't be jealous. Why would you take me here? Made me feel like a chump. Don't be so sensitive. I'm here with you right now. Mike's the chump. Okay, maybe chump isn't the right word. What is? Lucky. Hmm. You got in there.
What's so important in the bag, anyways? It's just my undies. The lacy ones. Well, hell, we don't need those. You don't want me to model them for you? I'm just gonna rip them off anyways. Maybe I want to show them off. Puts me in a generous mood. Let's go get them. Left or right. Let's go to right. Let's fill the pot. Get the sexy kisser on this thing. Jared, put your hand in it. Day, I wouldn't. Just slide it up in there. Ah! <gasps> Emily! Emily! <laughs> gotcha, big dip. Jesus, you're ridiculous. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> And why is the bag number one priority in our GD? Gee, he's not getting the bag anymore. Now this guy just annoys me. Just seems to pop Before up at we worst times. There are a few things I need to make sure you understand. You see, no one can change what happened last year. The past is beyond our control. You have to accept this in order to move forward. But there is freedom in this revelation. Everything you do, every decision.